Right now I'm in Moab, Utah, and I thought it would be so fun for you guys to come explore with me. We love the wind. We love the wind. And the wind stopped. Finally. I actually pulled off on the side of the road because it said viewpoint, and I saw this arch. So I don't even know the name of this arch. It's not the arches because that's further that way, but it's one of many. Anyways, this is arch number one. It actually goes right down to the road. And I look like such a freaking dork. <laughs> not me saying that with a person right there. It was called Wilson Arch, and we're back in my car on to the next spot. I took my jacket off because it was starting to get toasty, but we're at the next arch. It's called a Looking Glass. This is such a different perspective. So freaking cool. Arch number two. It's the next morning. Yesterday was a fail because I didn't realize how much there was to do in Moab and I literally got so overstimulated. I was looking up stuff and then I would find something and I'd be like, okay, I'll do that. And then I would see something else and I'd be like, okay, I'll do that. And then next thing you know, I was like, oh my gosh, it's already getting late. I needed to find a campground and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit of a struggle because I like to do free campgrounds. Sue me. I had a campground and then I was like, oh, I'll get up at 3.30 to do a sunrise hike. That just didn't happen. I woke up at five, got here at 5.30. It was a full parking lot. Now, my plans are a little bit changing and tomorrow I am waking up. We'll do a, a few hikes today, just not the one that I wanted to do because I wanna save that for sunrise. Being on the side of the road, I'm looking so crusty. Thank you. My phone never focuses. My phone, my camera never focuses. To be completely honest, I have no game plan. Like I have an idea, but like, I don't know. I just pulled off on the side of the road. The sun is starting to come up. So it's hitting those rocks and the moon is still right there. But like, holy cow. Also my car's kind of making a weird noise. Is it? I don't know. But yeah, the sun is coming up over there. I think this is called the Garden of Eden viewpoint area. She's gorgeous. We're just gonna drive down this road, see where life takes me today. Cause uh, yesterday overstimulated, now today getting overstimulated. What is going on? I'm currently doing the Widow's Trailhead. This is what we got going on so far. The sun is really coming up. But yeah, and then the, over there is the parking lot. Let's keep going. Add that. I am literally out of breath. <laughs> I just started. And this isn't even a long trail. You know I'm tired when I'm pretty sure in that last clip I said widows. And <laughs> it's windows. The windows trailhead. It's the north window, that's the south window crazy. I literally can't with myself. Like how the moon is poking through the south window. Like what? That's so cool. This is the south window. Looking massive. I can't. What's the name of this arch again? This is the tour. Tour arch. The sun is shining, but this is the turret arch, and it's really cool because it has like that mini one and then the big one with the sun. But when you look through, you can see the north window, like this one. So bright. I was actually wrong. It was facing the south window. That's the north window. I kind of want to go up there, but dangerous crazy from different angles like just seeing the different perspectives because now this one you can actually see the north window the other one was the south window <laughs> the double arch and I was all the way over there a little bit ago that's the tour arch north and south window back down the mountain to the visitor center because 
you know, but that's what she looks like. Honestly, I kind of like this little like paper bag thing. I made a peanut butter sandwich. You can see the crumbs. And I'm also eating chips. And there's a little bit left, so honestly, I should probably just eat the rest of it. You know? So. And then we'll go back up. I believe this one is the sand dune arch. I'll have to relook when I go to the bottom. I just honestly pulled off. But look at crazy. And then here's like other rocks. A tree. My outfit right now is giving mustard and ketchup vibes. I'm not here for it. It wasn't the sand dunes arch, it was the skyline arch. I don't even know if there is a sand dune arch. I'm pretty sure there is. I need a shower so bad and I also need to shave. Ugh. Happens when you live in your car. I'm not by a Planet Fitness. I can use the shower bag, but again, I'm limited on water, but I'm gonna try to shower tonight. I'm gonna try to shave. And my skin, girl, can my time already come here? I'm giving you a lot of information. Like, should I be giving you that much information? I don't know. I also want to point out that it was like really close. Like it wasn't far to walk at all so a mess a mess <laughs> just showered with my shower bag so my hair is fresh and clean and i also shaved this thing also just needs to like get off my face i'm getting so insecure about it and i'm just so over it everything i have planned for today just like didn't work out that's just how it's been going tomorrow we are waking up early we're gonna do that sunrise hike one I wanted to do today but so many people were there like I showed up it was like 15 to 20 people at the start of the trailhead and I was like oh my gosh like it was packed even though it was still like the sun was just barely hitting the horizon Birches National Park is ready to go it is almost 5 a.m. I tried to get up at 3 but I didn't get up till 3 45 which is still better than yesterday I get here no one is here, which is what I mean I wanted, but it's kind of spooky to see and walk. But I can see the bottom of the parking lot from where I'm at right now. Two cars have pulled up, so I won't be alone soon. But I need to focus, because I can't see you. What? I'm using this, and then I have that. There's the moon. I am out of breath right now. I'm at like the halfway point, and I'm dying. I can't really see. It's like a steady heap. Steady heap. Steady steep. <laughs> We're getting closer. Sun is starting to come up. I made it to Delicate Arch. This light is in like 20 minutes. I made really good time. It said the average person was like an hour and 35 minutes. I probably did it in like 60, 65. I'm out of breath. I'm out of shape. But let me see if you can see it. You can kind of see outlines, but I wonder if you can see. Hold on, let me turn this off. I'm surprised I have service, but right in front is the arch. Moon right there. You can start to see it. First light is here. I don't know how much you can see, but it's like close on either side. <gasps> oh gosh. Before people start to show up. It's literally crazy. Like, what? I wish you could see how massive this thing is. And this is why sunrise hikes are literally so freaking worth it. I love this. Let's do a quick little pan ram. Do, 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 do. Oop. Arch. Do, 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 do. Moon. Oh, focus. Do, do, do. Mountains with snow on it. Sun coming up. Just get over. How insane this is right now.
can't believe I did this with it being dark outside. Since <laughs> so I did this in the dark, I literally did not even see this. And it's right off the path. But it's giant and look. You go up this way, and I can't believe I did that in the dark because it like loops back around. Insane. All right, I'm at the sand dune arch. Oh, I should have worn. I was like, do I wear my hiking boots? I really should have because this is sandy. Do I go back to change into the whatever? No going back now. Why is the sand kind of like a workout? Is anything gonna do? This one, I don't even know how many miles this is. A broken arch hiking shoes on, so my shoes are filled with sand. But luckily, there's like the rock and the sand. It's a bad idea. I mean, it's only 8.38 a.m. <sighs> I'm tired. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm not. I'm really not that tired. But here we go. I'm kind of excited because... Again, I wasn't gonna do this one. Well, here we are. That wasn't too bad of a walk. I'm really getting my steps in today. Gosh, it's crazy seeing like the different perspectives. <sighs> Insane. I never wear my Apple Watch anymore because it's basically broken. It's 9.15 and I've taken 12,318 steps. Are you kidding me? Right now I'm at this like picnic area in Arches National Park. Last week I tried that strawberry and banana one, but this one, cause I got two and this one's a honey and almond. So we're gonna do that. Worse, chai tea. I actually have a spoon this time. Let's give this one a little taste test. I put too much water so it's liquidy. Texture bad again, tastes good. Almost like the other one better. The strawberry and blueberry one. Enjoy this. And this is my view right now. Devil's Garden right now. I believe the whole thing is like four miles or something. I don't know what this arch is called. There's a little arch right over there. Landscape arch. Pretty pretty. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Oh, you're good. you mind if we take a picture real quick? No, you're good. Do you want me to take a picture of you guys? Arch. Okay, now I'm confused because I thought the last one was Navajo Arch, but I guess this is Navajo Arch. I don't know what the other one was. Maybe it was the wall art. I don't know. The tree looks really cool. Oh, we're zoomed in. Okay. Not me being so confused. Look at this little chair. No, I'm done. I was doing an interview. I was sitting in my chair, my rock chair. Yeah, that's a good chair. <laughs> I really want pizza and ice cream. So bad. I did not finish that. It was so much food. I did not know the garlic twists were gonna be. There were six of them. And then it was an eight inch pizza, but I have three garlic twists and then two slices. I think I did pretty good. I love their ranch. Do you like ranch on pizza? I think it's so good. It came with ranch 
and marinara sauce for the garlic twist and I should have just done two ranch. I don't know what I was thinking. Hopefully this can stay good because it's only 219 so I'm kind of having this as like my dinner. I don't know. In a few days since that last clip, I did enjoy pizza and I was too full to get ice cream, but I got it now. I also got a nice warm shower, an actual shower, not the shower bag, because um, I'm now by Planet Fitness. I'm obviously in a new location, the funniest gas station experience, and I made a TikTok, but I'm going to insert that TikTok here because I have to share it to take a dump because I had it in five days so I type into maps gas station I click the first one and this is what I pulled up to I was so confused I go in to do my business and I'm just even more like what is going on right now I did in fact take a golden dump I decided I need to explore the store and I just want to say there was a girl that was going into the bathroom after me and I am so sorry if she sees this is back to the store they had so many things so many snacks i walked out with they had jerky they had candy they literally had everything i wanted to buy so much like this wasn't a regular gas station it was a cool gas station and i'm almost glad that i'm indecisive because i would have picked up so many more things but i couldn't decide i can't buy it all apple maps really was like i know you need to take a dump but let's take you on a journey and a journey it was. Dump ended up costing me $40.11. We love that. Before I show you what I got. It's creepy looking. Yeah, it is creepy. So many freeze dried candy, but I've never seen high chews, so we're gonna do a little taste test. Care for high chews because they're pretty hard. I like Starburst or Mumba. Mumba is so good. I wish you could smell this right now. It smells so so good. Why is there the wrappers? That's what I'm also... Hold on. And strawberry. Oh my... You can't really see it, but oh my goodness. 9 out of 10. I've never seen these before. I love peach rings, and tahini is always a hit or miss for me. Let's give it a go. I don't like how it smells. This is what it looks like. Oh, using myself because this was all forty dollars and eleven cents. It does not taste like peach ring. Honestly, the aftertaste isn't too bad, so I give it like a six out of ten. Would have gotten some jerky, but after I saw the Rice Krispie treats and I picked out all this, I would have done the same thing with the jerky, and this could have been easily a hundred dollars. I would have gotten jerky, four flavors, and there's like stuff in the middle. Like I'm so excited about these like are you kidding me saving them until i see my family at the end of this month and hopefully they don't like melt too much in my car and if you want to know the flavors and if you want to see the taste test comment taste test and i'll pick someone's comment but if there's no comments then i just will enjoy it with my family i usually get reese's peanut butter cup but i got their new flavor it's like puppy chow so let's try it's hot so it's already melting like this usually if I step out of my comfort zone I'm <gasps> I'm mad that I didn't get the Reese's but this this is freaking delicious oh and I cut my hair I look like it but I cut a lot off um, I hope you enjoyed this week's video it might be all over the place because I was struggling in the beginning but I had so much fun and I'll definitely be back in Moab I just couldn't really stay that long. So see you in next week's video. Please hit that subscribe button and follow my journey because without you, this channel will be nothing. So please engage. It would mean the world to me. And let's just see where life takes us because I have no idea. Mm -hmm.